Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and let's solve this problem. We have to calculate the radius of a semicircle in the given figure. This figure, we have a right triangle, and we got a semicircle. I did my best to draw the circle freehand. Now, how do we solve this? Well, first step here is I want to find a missing length of AC. We have 12, and we have 5, and I want to find a length of AC. You should be thinking Pythagorean theorem. So, we have, remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our a value, let's call it 12, 12 squared plus b value, good old 5 squared, equals c squared. That's the length of ac. 12 squared is a 144, 5 squared, 25, equals, well, c squared. I'm going to square root both sides and simplify this with square root of 144 plus 25 is a 169 equals c. And the square root of 169 is equal to 13. So the length of AC is 13. And we have that here. Length of AC equals a 13. Now, I want to draw a radius here. We notice we have a tangent right here. AC is a tangent to the semicircle. And so is CB, tangent. So right here at this point, let's connect this line. If I can draw a straight line, good enough. And let's call it R our radius. Now what do we know about circles and their tangents? Well, two tangent lines to a circle, right, two tangent lines to the circle here at the points where they intersect, that little tangent line right here, okay, or tangent point, the line segments are congruent. I almost said parallel. They're congruent here. So this length and this length here are congruent. But let's give some labels here. Let's call this M, that point center of the semicircle, let's call this N. So with that information, we can say that NC is equal to, well, five, right? If they're congruent, we have five here, okay? What else can we figure out with that being tangent? Since AC is tangent to our circle, the radius that's created to the center is a right angle here. And now I also can find the length of AN. AN is equal to, well, 13 minus the 5, right here, that gives me an 8, okay? Now, with this information, where can I go? Hopefully, you're thinking similar triangles. So let's go write it out. Triangle A, N, M, right? So triangle A, N, M is similar, A, N, M, to triangle A, B, C. Why is that? Well, we have the angle-angle theorem. We have a right angle right here. They both share the same right angle, and they both share whatever angle measurement of A is. They also share that. We have two angles on a triangle that are the same. We know the third one's also the same, and we know two triangles must be similar. So how does that help us? Well, since both triangles we know now are similar, we can write them as a proportion for their side lengths. So we have R, the short length, short length of this triangle, and its long leg, R over eight, is equal to the short leg here of the larger triangle, that's uh, five, over the long leg, which is 12. Now to simplify this, we wanna multiply eight to both sides. You could cross multiply, but I like to do it like this. R is 5 over 12 times or like 8 over 1. Simplify where we can. 8 and 12 uh, are both divisible by 4. 8 becomes a 2. 12 is a 3. So R equals 5 times 2, which is a 10, over a 3. Or that's equal to a 3.3 repeating. And there we got it. We found the radius of our semicircle from the given figure, and we got it to be a 10 thirds. If you have another idea for a video that we should do, let me know down in the comment section below. And please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.